Okay, so I opted to switch to my other camera for you guys, so hopefully the quality is a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next item that I want to review, which are the Avon Glazeware. These are three different types that I have. I have the Glazeware Intense, the Glazeware Sparkle, and the Glazeware Shine. I do have lip swatches, but I'm going to go ahead and swatch them on my hand for you guys. This is the Glazeware Shine in the color Darling Pink. And it looks like that. This is the Glazeware Sparkle in Apple Cinnamon. And this is the Glazeware Intense in Intense Plum. And there it is there. These are similar to the previous items that I reviewed, but these are slightly more pigmented and a thinner consistency. Now it still feels like it's petroleum based and it has a little bit of tackiness, not quite as bad as the Moisture Seduction or the Tri Lip Gloss, but um, there is a little bit of tackiness to them. And I also have the problem where after you apply it and it warms up to your lips, it feels slightly on the greasy side, and I don't really like that. If you are familiar with items that are petroleum-based, you know what I mean by that greasy feeling. It's just, um, it's not that it moves anywhere or anything like that. It's just like a weird um, sensation on your lips, and I don't, I don't really care for that. If that's not a problem to you, these are probably really, really nice for you. I believe when I purchased these from Avon, they were $2.99 a piece. The prices vary depending on what sales are having and whatnot. So I think the pigmentation is nice on them. Um, the wearability is not amazing. It is a gloss. Um, so it doesn't last super long. If you drink or you eat or you're a smoker or something like that, you're going to have to reapply these. Um, and these are similar to the other products, the Tri Lip Gloss and the Moisture Seduction, whereas after the color and everything starts to fade and you feel like the gloss is no longer there, but there still is a tagginess to your lips. And again, that's another problem that I don't like. So these three will not be staying in my collection. And out of the three, I would have to say the Intense Plum is probably my favorite. The pigmentation is better. And um, I really wouldn't say it's a plum color on the lips. It's more of a berry, a berry color, as you probably saw in the swatches that I've already included in the video. So that was my review for the Avon Glazeware Lip Glosses, so if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up my video, and if you're not already a subscriber, please click the subscribe button, and feel free to check out the down bar, there will be links to my blogs, as well as my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all the other good stuff, so thanks guys.